Hi everyone, I wanted to get a quick video out to you guys. I've had a few requests of an updated either what's in my bag of the Daisy Rose tote or just of what's, you know, the wear and tear of the Daisy Rose bag. I've had these, this and the black version for I think two years or over two years now. Um, I haven't used this bag in a while, probably, I don't know, nine months or so. But when I did use the bag, I wore it heavily and I did not baby it whatsoever. So I can speak on the wear and tear. I'm switching my purse things into this bag along with, I'm, I'm going to be using it as a school bag starting in a couple of days. So it's going to be purse slash book bag. I will also be switching this stuff into the Daisy Rose bag along with this stuff. This is my everyday a bag purse and then this is my work purse so um, when I'm in uniform I have to wear something pretty plain like this which is why currently I'm in between two different bags because yesterday I was in uniform so that's that uh, okay so let's get into it the only complaint I have is that the handles have originally have a wax trim around the handles and I think that's to keep all the threads in place and nice and neat but the wax started peeling and then me noticing that the wax was sticking up and detaching from the handle strap I started peeling it off so many of the threads stick out there and there and on the other handle as well so this bag at the time was I believe $50 it's vegan faux leather or pressed canvas it's supposed to mimic a famous brand that has a similar pattern a similar structure handbag but that's thousands of or I don't know how much that bag is now I think it's close to 2000 but regardless this one was $50 on Amazon from the company Daisy Rose Daisy Rose is no longer on Amazon I believe um, Daisy Rose got a bunch of recognition and they are now on walmart.com there are different there are different patterns of this bag and shades and colors as well as they have other structured bags wallets things like that but you'll have to go onto walmart.com and search daisy rose if you're interested in purchasing from them so the handles definitely did not hold up very well i know i made the situation worse by peeling the wax off i know that um but everything else looks good there's like probably some dust or paper strands in here so it's um there's like what you can see i don't know lint or whatever from the last time i used it but there's no rips um i didn't stain it which, you know, is not even on me. It's on the bag. And I used to sneak Dunkin' Donuts coffee into the movie theater because this has a pretty flat, sturdy bottom. So I used to place Dunkin' Donuts coffee in here and just carry it carefully into the movie theater so that no one could tell me I had to throw my iced coffee away. And it still held up pretty well. This holds a bunch of stuff in it. It's not super slouchy. Uh, it's not very structured either, but like I said, the bottom is pretty sturdy and it doesn't really cave or lose its shape. So I'm gonna do the bag swap or whatever you would call it now. Um, the iPad Pro that I'm using I know is not like the greatest thing for filming but I'm trying to just 
use what I can right now. My phone is charging. So let's go into, excuse me. So I guess I'm gonna start with this bag. This I got from Walmart, which is funny because this is now a Walmart bag as well. And I love this bag for, for work. The only thing that was irritating about it was that these straps would loosen up and this part would separate from this part. So I just stitched it in place where I want it. Other than that, I love this bag. So the first thing I have actually is the Black Daisy Rose pouch. I totally forgot. So this also came with a Daisy Rose pouch in brown, but that's tucked away somewhere. But wear and tear on these is basically non-existent. So this has a disposable mask for if and when I need it. And it has feminine products and... It also has this lip gloss that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I don't use chapstick. It's a cruelty-free brand called um, City Lips. I've talked about it before. It's supposed to be a lip plumper. I don't believe it plumps my lips, but it moisturizes my lips unlike anything I've ever used before. So I'm not kidding you. This is probably like my ninth tube. I buy it all the time. I wear it absolutely every single day. It's called City Lips, like I said. So I carry this with me. I'm not gonna organize it really right now. This is a little coin pouch from Dollar General. This is, says walk by faith. And this is just a little notebook that carries a pen on in the side. I'm gonna carry this with me when I'm in clinical in the hospital because it's uh, flexible and I know it'll fit in my scrub pockets so that's why I have that hand sanitizer from I don't know because the label is coming off but it's a lemon scented one See, another tube of the City Lips. Plus I have one right on my desk over there. So that's three that I have currently using right now. This is um, dirty and uh, that's, it's really a shame because you can't even, you can't even clean it. I took nail polish remover, <clears throat> excuse me, remover to it and it just won't clean. But these are those, um, rechargeable monk essential oil pens um, it's this is in the flavor happy which comes with fennel thyme and vanilla so there, uh, there's kind of a backstory behind this when I was in training I was really anxious having nightmares all the time I couldn't sleep I was like jumping out of my sleep um <clears throat> and I was too nervous to go to a psychiatrist at the time and ask for medication or ask for help I was nervous that I would be kicked out of the military um it's kind of just what was put into my brain by others I'm not saying that was true or a valid thought but I was looking into these essential oil pens supposedly they help decrease stress and there's no nicotine or anything so that's why I bought them do they help not really no but I kind of like them anyway for some reason every once in a while like just like a little <laughs> puff I don't know all right so that was my work bag and then some of the stuff that was in that bag is scattered all over my bed because I was using it throughout the day. This is my planner. And currently I'm using the Legend Planner, which supposedly is similar to another goal setting and manifestation 
planner company. Um, it's undated, so this is what this is what the inside looks like before you write in it. Days of the week on one page. It comes with stickers. And then this is a habit tracker. Main goal of the week. What will be your reward if you achieve that goal? Um, personal, I can't read. Personal to-do list, work to-do list, a little blank space, space for notes. I usually put like a motivational note, uh, quote, or like a fun fact about whatever subject I'm not exactly uh, well versed in. I'll just research something and just jot down a fact so that I feel like I learned something for the day. And then this week's wins and then uh, how I'll improve next week. That's just the weekly portion. But it also has, um, I really, I can do like a whole nother video on this eventually, but this is, <clears throat> I don't want to show. So then there's month, month on two page that you can fill in. And then after that, so this is month on two page, more goal setting. But then after the month is over, you reflect on your month and it asks you questions about um, what were you lacking this month? What was, um, how do I feel about my progress, blah, blah. And there's so much more. The first, I don't know, 15 pages is all in-depth questions about goal setting and um, basically just goal setting and manifesta manifesting and where do you see yourself and what do you want and with your future, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember how much this was, but I know it wasn't like the most expensive option. That is that. And I use this pen off Amazon that has eight gel colors. They're beautiful. It's a pen. I love the ink. If you have questions about anything or you want links, you have to reach out to me and ask me because to be honest, I'm not sure I'm gonna spend all the time putting links down below, but I will answer you if you DM me or comment. I will, eventually. And then I also have this pen that I don't remember what it is. This might be from the dollar store. This is like another four color pen. This is the book I'm reading currently. I'm almost finished with it. I gotta say, I really like this book a lot. I randomly saw it in Dollar General. I picked it up and I actually didn't quit on it halfway, which is a bad habit, like a really bad habit of mine. But it's called It's Always the Husband by Michelle Campbell. And it's about these three girls that go to college together. They're roommates. Um, they didn't know each other beforehand. And it's about them growing up in college and then it becomes a murder mystery as well. I was hooked on it from the first page, which is so rare for me. So I thought that spoke volumes. Then I have this pouch. I didn't even get into the other bag yet. And this is all just makeup, pretty much. So I have this lipstick. Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory in the shade Keep It Flesh, and it's gone. I just scrape out what's left of it. It's a really beautiful nude. If you have light skin, if you don't, it's it's not going to look right, honestly. It'll just make you look sickly. But if you have light skin like I do, it'll it'll be good. If if you like that kind of thing. And this is Milani lipstick number 29, Teddy Bear. Ooh, that one smells terrible. Some of their lipsticks smell so good. That one does not. And this is another one of those monk pens. This is not the rechargeable one. This is a disposable one. This is in...
Zen, which I haven't had this one in a while and I totally forgot what it tasted like, so that was kind of weird. This one's like, kind of tastes stronger. Um, <clears throat> and this one, so I said Zen, and this one has orange, frankincense, and ylang ylang. You're not supposed to inhale. I also have a Georgiana eye pencil in the shade Coffee Bean. Another Milani, no, yeah, another Milani lipstick in Matte Blissful number 62. I can probably afford to empty this out. I don't need all that makeup with me. All right, so now I'm gonna move into this bag. This bag is old and I don't remember where I bought it. Um, I gotta say though, this looks really cool in the dark or if there's light shining on it, it's very reflective. Right now you can't really see that, but at night it looks really awesome if light hits it it has these two top handles and then it has this uh, strap as well not this like some of the threads are coming out here as well thinking about putting this up for sale so if you're interested let me know all right this is a Tiffany & Co. little jewelry holder because I just picked up this bracelet, the Tiffany T bracelet. I got it repaired, it came in this, but I put the bracelet on immediately, so I don't need that. No, I don't think I need that. Um, this is my wallet. I got this at Target. It's my favorite wallet of all time. I can't show you, but what I love about it is that it has this extra zipper pouch here. So it has that zipper pouch and then the typical zipper pouch within it. Hold on. This one, that zipper pouch there. So it holds a lot. got that maybe a year ago so I don't know if they have them anymore but I went out and I got one for my mom because I was like this wallet is insane it holds so much and it's cute and I got her the last one that I saw at my target these are my eyeglasses I have astigmatism they're from the company Vogue I haven't worn them in a bit I feel like I can never get them clean enough. I don't know. Nothing special. I wanted something simple. Um, I think I'm just going to continue to wear them because I really should just be wearing them anyway. So I'll throw that in there. This claw clip. I don't need to put that in there right now. This is a doctor's note for a certain situation that I carry with me, just in case. Receipt for delicious food I had with my friend. Another pouch, this is old from Victoria's Secret. I don't, I, it just came, like nothing came with it. Um, and then I have Porg from Star Wars pins on it. And in here I keep medication, gum, hair tie, I'll put this hair tie in there, um, and a band-aid. <clears throat> I'm not gonna be able to carry all of this and my books. Then I have sunglasses. I got these from um, 
it was a marine base I was on, so I think they call it MCX, MCX Marine Corps Exchange, which is like a shop, like a shop. And they have a whole bunch of stuff, and so I picked up these little cheeky ones there. And then I just put it in this case that didn't even come with. Actually, my phone case came in that case. So that's that, this is the bag. Oh, and this is a um, disposable CPR face mask that you put, like God forbid someone needs you to give them CPR. You put this in between your mouth and their lips so that if they have any communicable diseases, this should help protect you from that. I'll keep it with me. This ring that I showed you, so this is what it looks like so far. This ring, I'm pretty sure is a mood ring that my dad gave me. And that's why I held on to it in here. Anyway, so I'm gonna clip this next to the mood ring so that it's easily accessible. And then, Lastly, um, I need, this is my Surface Pro, and this is the case that I have from Amazon. I have some random papers in here that I have to give back to my dad, actually. And this is the receipt for the Surface Pro. That's the Surface Pro. And I don't have the Surface Pro uh, keyboard. I bought a random brand one on Amazon and I have the black version and the black pen. I should have put this in first, yeah. I forgot to put these back in my planner, but these are some of the stickers that come with it. And then I would need another notebook or yeah, like just like a larger notebook for school. And I have my pens in there. I guess I would probably need calculator I don't know what notebook I feel like carrying around I, I don't really use a notebook very much in school I take my notes on my either my iPad or my laptop so I just, this is a notebook that I haven't even opened yet. My mom got it for me, and this is from the company Vera Bradley at Staples. I'll just throw that in there. And then I would have everything that I need for school. Not, not necessarily for clinical, but for school classes at least. Um, and then I would add the calculator. So that's that. This is probably about, I don't know, I don't want to exaggerate, but it's probably like 25 pounds. And that's what it looks like. You can press the sides in if you wanted to with this, but I never do that. And you can also clip this hook onto the D-ring on this side if you'd like to for more privacy. This is another thing I don't do. 
because I like to just look inside it and pretty much everything is visible and then I just grab what I need. So that's that. Thank you guys for requesting, first of all, a video. It's not all the time that I get video requests. Um, and thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions, either comment or DM. And if you'd like to see the original videos on these bags, I have the one on the cream version, the black version, and this brown version. They're on my YouTube page. Okay, bye.